So um, I'm James Robinson, I'm one of the CNE photographers here at the John Rhines Library, uh, which is part of the University of Manchester, right in the city centre. So the library's been here, it opened in 1900. Um, it was built as a, a kind of gift for Manchester, it's always been a library. There's uh, actually been a, a photographic unit within the library for over 100 years. So all the time that there's been uh, the photography unit here, we've got a record of everything that they've used. And then obviously now, as the time's gone on, we've gone on to digital and we're using the phase one 645 bodies, the IXR bodies and the IQ180 backs. So this is our manuscript and archive storeroom. Uh, this is where all of our most important manuscripts and archives are held. This is what we call the giant Quran. Uh, it weighs 52 kilograms, um, it's almost a metre in length. Uh, we have actually digitised this in its entirety. These are some examples of uh, papyrus fragments that we have. Uh, the library does actually hold um, every written form, ranging from kind of BC with um, Sumerian tablets and clay tablets, uh, all the way up to modern printed material and uh, photographs. Prior to digitisation, anything that we do has to come through the collection care department first for assessment. When an object is required for digitisation, the collection care department assess its suitability. They do that by looking at the structure of the binding, seeing if it needs any repair, and also doing any repair if that's necessary. So this is all of our equipment that we use. Two IXR bodies, DF body, and we have two AF bodies. We have a variety of different lenses, ranging from the Schneider 28mm leaf shutter lens, We've got the 80mm lenses and the 55mm. Incredibly useful for uh, photographing very large items. The closest we go is the 120mm macro lens. It's uh, really good. There's a number of different setups in the department. The one that you see here is our quite large copy stand. We mount the IXR and the IQ180 above the object here. The object sits on the baseboard. We've got quite a height adjustment using the back slider there. Uh, the camera's all plugged in and the back's tethered straight into the computer, so all of the adjustments can be controlled from over there. We can adjust the focus, the aperture, the shutter speed, and we can check the white balance settings and the colour control, and of course, obviously, fire the, uh, the shutter. On this kind of setup, we use the IXR body primarily because it allows us to get through so much material in a day. This is a kind of setup where we will be able to get through a lot. Uh, the camera is incredibly hard wearing, you haven't got the mirror in there, it's a mirrorless body. So if we need to do any kind of longer exposure on any, any item, we don't have any interference from that. Shooting on uh, the copy stand setup like this, we always use uh, the two Profoto D1 uh, heads. These are the 1000 watt heads. We've found that the by far the most durable, the most reliable, they give the most consistent colour temperature output which is incredibly important for what we're shooting. So before we get down to any of the actual photography of the items, we'll take a shot of the colour checker. Um, we'll do that through the computer. Uh, that'll then allow us to get the right white balance and we'll be able to focus on that. Okay, so now we're uh, in Capture One Pro. We're going to the live view mode. We can use the focusing tools there to get it perfect. And we can adjust the settings of the camera for the correct aperture and shutter speed there and the ISO. And then pretty much instantly, once that image is in there, we can start making checks. And once we've done a lens cast calibration after that, we're then ready to go. Once we've uh, actually got everything photographed and into the computer, uh, some of the things that we need to check obviously is that uh, everything's in focus and sharp. All of the colour settings um, are right. Um, some of the other things that we'll just check are the straightening. One of the very handy tools that uh, we use quite a lot is the keystone correction to make sure that everything's completely flat and level. We don't put the images through any other kind of software or any other processing methods. We try and capture it exactly how the object is. That's one of the key elements for us. Using the IQ 180s, that gives you that incredible detail that we need. My name is Gwen Riley Jones. I am a senior photographer at the John Rylands Library. 
One of the projects we're working on at the moment is one of the biggest projects we've ever undertaken. It's the digitisation of Cardinal Newman's archive. Working on collections like this, we really need the best kit for the job. So for this setup, we're using a traveller's conservation cradle and an IXR camera with an IQ180 back and an 80mm Schneider lens. We use the IQ180 because it's the highest resolution digital back on the market. We use the IXR camera body because it's mirrorless and it speeds up our workflow. And Schneider lenses because the glass has got uncompromised quality. And the really great thing about this setup is it's completely portable. We can take it on location with us. We can travel very lightly. One of the really great things about the Cradle is that it supports the book throughout the digitisation process. This book is highly illuminated, there's a lot of gold and a lot of different colour pigments within the text. And one of the great things about the IQ 180 is that you almost get microscopic detail and researchers use this to analyse the text in various different ways so people will look at their, their handwriting and the images can help them to do that in really fine detail. Pigment researchers look at the way the pigments are formed and true colour reproduction is really important for this kind of work. So using um, the Phase 1 system and um, Capture One Pro software to complete package from start to finish, from the actual beginning of the shoot all the way through to the final output, which is excellent. It's an incredibly efficient way to work. Mm -hmm.